Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, I finally made my plan, because my plans are, are going to be starting to be put in. What am I trying to say here? I have a plan, which is that uh, centered around one unit, which is right here, as you can see. Uh, summary Buki, right here. I want to get her. And the only way I can guarantee to get her, even with factoring in bad luck and stuff like that, is to basically save for the pity roll. The pity roll, which is very high in Fago, uh, almost impossible to actually get on JP unless you spend on the game. Uh, I don't have to worry about that because I play NA. So I have a plan specifically set in place to save up for her and to actually <laughs> have a fallback plan if things go bad. So today's video is me breaking that down for you guys, so I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. Um, you can probably use some of this info for some of the stuff if you're curious about some of it. I go into a lot of detail about certain things. And uh, you can like, leave a like on the video, subscribe to me if you want some more videos featuring me, and yeah, okay. Let's get into it. So, I've done some math. So if you want to know, currently on the NA side of things, here we are. When I'm recording this video, it is September 1st. And these are the potential upcoming uh, events for here. And we're basically saving up until two... Actually, I have the exact number. Not not here. Till this event right here. So, moving over to the next slide. Boom! I have it in my Word doc. Here we go. So, here's the Save for Summer Ibuki plan. Currently, on hand, I have around 15 tickets. And I have St. Quartz Fragments. I have 21, which, uh, I have 21 St. Quartz, right, uh, which, bleh, bleh. I have 147 St. Quartz fragments, which equals 21 St. Quartz. I've also done some math here to let me, f help me figure out stuff. So at 210 fragments, that's when I get 30 SQ. And then at 2,100, that's 300 St. Quartz. And to pity, you need 900 St. Quartz, 6,300, uh, fragments. You get 21 every week. So, here's the other thing. You actually need 330 rolls, but that equals to around 900 SQ, St. Quartz, and that is due to the 30 free summons. They count the plus one, so that's why it takes 330 rolls. If it actually was 300 rolls, then it would actually require 270 uh, rolls, which is slightly less. Not the biggest deal, but whatever. They factored it in. They factored it in there. <laughs> okay. So, in that case, um, it would also take 300 tickets, because one ticket equals one, and then that equals one pity, because 300 tickets would be 300 summons, and therefore, boom, 900 sync quartz is 300 summons. Easy, easy to figure out. Well, three, 30 free multi-summons, but 300 summons overall, and then 330 summons. Okay, you get what I'm saying here, right? All right, we're all good, we're all good. All right, continuing on. The current year is, and current date, is September 1st, 2020, 2022. There we go. The expected time for Summer Ibuki is July 2024. The reason is, actually, because let me look at it right now, this date might vary for some things. The reason I get put it in specifically July is that if you look at the current NA side of things, the way it kind of goes, you can see our July is when we got for Go Summer Event 2022. And then for um, JP, they got this event in August. So we got in a little bit different because the timeline is a little bit screwy right now. So for the most part, that's why I kind of put it that I expect it to hit sometime in July. If it comes sooner or if it comes later, it will not change much, I think, because I still think the events that happened before it, I still only counted the events that happened before it and then a couple of off couple of things like I guess a couple weeks or so I mean that would kind of be a bummer but I don't think it would be that much of a loss either way I did my best to capture as much as I could of it all right next so in terms of what I got now so if the current year is that means that means there are 95 weeks between today and July so the expected fragments would be around 1995 which equals to 285 sync quartz which makes me have almost one third of the way there to having a full multi. Now the thing that I have here was the same quartz fragments, which I did not go into further. And I specifically made sure to make it so I only counted same quartz fragments, because if I'm being 100% real, and I think you have to be real when you do this, 
My actual St. Quartz amounts will vary because I will still be summoning on other stuff. For me to not summon for two years, I don't have that kind of capacity in me. I just know me. So, I have decided not to take into account any of my St. Quartz. So therefore, I'm only really taking into account the fragments and the tickets, which is the only thing I really want to use for this specific saving method because I basically want to have a fallback plan in case everything goes bad. And by everything going bad, it means not only summoning on Ibuki herself, but also if anything else goes bad in terms of summoning with regular St. Quartz on any of the other banners. Who knows? There's a lot of factors here that can't be accounted for just simply because I will be summoning on other banners. But for the most part, I can easily not use my fragments and I cannot use my tickets. So here's the main problem with fragments is that, especially now, I don't actually think my main total would actually end up being around 1,995. The reason is, is that you get St. Uh, fragments from completing story missions and I haven't fully completed much of the story and there are some other story quests coming up. I also think they give Saint, uh, f uh, they give fragments for I think around anniversary time. So for that reason alone, I kind of don't want to really use the fragments. I still kind of evened it out to see like, hey, would it be even possible if I just didn't use any of my St. Quartz fragments for two years? Would I have enough for a full on like <laughs> full on pity? And the answer is no, I would not. I would only be like barely even one third of the way there. Cause like I said, you need 900 and 285 is 15 off still. <laughs> so even with that gap in there, it's not enough. So. At this point, I kind of abandoned the fragments once I finished the math, I decided not to look into it any deeper, but then I did start going into tickets. Now tickets are much easier because one ticket equals one St. Quartz. That, therefore, and we get a lot more tickets than we get fragments and stuff like that. The problem with the fragments is that there's actually seven of them, and the seven of them equals one St. Quartz, so the conversion rate ends up being like you get so many of them, but it never equates to as much as you want because it's a not a one-to-one -one trade basically a ticket is a one-to-one -one trade so let's look into the tickets so i actually fully looked into the events i might be missing a ticket or two but these are basically every single ticket we will be getting for the next 95 weeks so on the current list i have 10 tickets we get one ticket every seven days and five tickets every month so in 95 weeks we will get 95 tickets from this right here and then in 22 months uh, no, in the, and then in those months specifically, in the 95 weeks, there will be 22 months, which will be 110 tickets. All right, easy. That's just the basic level of stuff of what you can prepare for that we know we get every week and we get every month. Now, in tickets that we get from campaigns and events. So, we are going to get one ticket from Himiko. I checked super duper on this one to see if it really was just one ticket, but we get one ticket from the base event and then the rerun itself. And then we get 10 tickets from the 19 million uh, downloads campaign. We get one from the Muramasa. Let me just show it real quick, just to show the visuals of it. Uh, doop, 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 doop. See this right here. On track here, this, in a current timeline, this is looking to be next. Boom. So, there we go. We go into this, into this get a little bit of this action here you can see what I see here you can see what I mean by here let's go back to the word doc uh, two tickets from yeah good uh, ten tickets from the 19 million downloads campaign one from a Muramasa trial quest this is the new year start one from a panel of missing new year of what one panel missing new years uh, I don't know what I mean by that but let me show you what I mean here because it's easily here I think they started doing this this year which is what it threw me off and I didn't know how to word it but the panel missions that's what I fucking meant nice one going dumbass but we have one ticket here for clearing all the missions and you can see here we get a, a, a decent number of sync quartz one two three four five five okay not not the worst pretty good but anyway from panel missions on New Year's, and then 10 from New Year's uh, Da Vinci Shop for 2023. And I checked, there was no daily logins. There was uh, tickets specifically for stuff like if you were returning to the game. But in terms of waiting a week, I actually didn't see one here. If I ended up missing it, you can free fill it tell me. In that case, add 10 missions at the end. But I could not find it for the life of me. Like, I looked everywhere for that damn thing. Uh... 
yeah, you can see right here, like New Year's login. You get thirty. That's probably why we didn't get the ten tickets, is because we get thirty for login and stuff like that. But you can see here the the Muramasa trial quest and stuff like that, and then the panel missions I already showed. New and returnees. So before renewal, after renewal, stuff like this. It's like yeah, but there's no like daily thing on there, so it is what it is on that. Next, we will have a survey in 2023, which will give us four tickets. And then from the Tenku event, we'll get an additional four tickets. On Valentine's Day, we will get five tickets, followed up by a 20 million downloads campaign, where we will get 10 tickets again, six tickets from Caldea Boys, two tickets from our Akihabara event, three tickets from Guerrero Live, seven tickets for the Merlin Gabriel front, and then we will have Nero Fest. And for Nero Fest, I've specifically put down zero to 16 tickets because I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get. In theory, I should be able to get all 16. Um, but the only way to get them is to beat these exhibition quests. And I remember these exhibition quests being very hard, but to be fair, these are 2016 and 2017 level difficulties, so I shouldn't really be having that much difficulty of them. But there is actually one that I'm afraid of doing again, which is the King Asan one. This is actually super, super difficult on NA. Uh, and the reason is is that on NA, this ability judgment on the JP version of the game, and apparently this is just true of the of the of the fight in general. Um, this fight launched bug, bugged. So he only applies this move to the leftmost servant every single time. Every time he uses judgment, it will always hit the unit that is most on the left. And for NA, they fixed it because it was a bug. And when they fixed it, they made it random. So this is a random ass ability that will hit anyone. So, and this specific King Hassan has like a 100% uh, death chance, I think, on his normal attacks. Yeah, he has his own instant kill success rate up by 100%. So that sucks. And that's maybe, it was super annoying when he originally released. There was not a lot of teams that could actually beat it. Um, if you could beat it, you either got super lucky or you had the exact right god team for it. And the reason is that a lot of the strategies were built around the fact of using BB, who had a 100% um, death resistance, so she could never die till instant death. Using her as kind of a shield to kind of like take all the instant death hits from King Asan, and trying to win the fight through just pure stall tactics from that point on. And you just can't do that now. Um, it's not possible. But we'll see if it's possible when it comes around here. It is, again, it's been, what, 2017? 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, it'll, then it will be 23. It will have been six years since this fight. So we should be able to kick his ass at this point, right? Right? <sighs> we'll see when that happens, huh? But anyway, for that very reason, I put 0 to 16 tickets. So it's a variable depending on the person and their account status because some people just won't be able to beat it. Some people also don't want to deal with it. And then we will have Memorial Quest where we will get an additional 7 tickets. And then for the 6th anniversary, we will get a total of 10, 1, and 10 uh, tickets. 21, the reason being is the 1 comes from a trial quest. This 10 comes in from a login, and this 10 comes in from the Da Vinci shop. So that's why it gets it to a total of 21. And then for the 21 million download campaign, it's an additional 10 tickets, followed by 2 tickets at the Guda Guda Close Call, doubling the tickets we get from the... Um, base form of the Himiko Guda Guda event. 15 tickets in New Year's for 2024. I forget why it ended up being like that on 20 for 2024. Uh, uh, let's check it out though, huh? Why, why was it like this? Okay, 30 same coins. We definitely get, did I forget to put in her? Okay, no, that's was, that was one ticket right there. And then, yeah, the panel mission included five tickets instead, so that made a total of six tickets. So we have six tickets, and then in the Da Vinci shop, it's ten tickets. So that's actually sixteen tickets. I was off by one. It's fine. I must have totally forgot about that trial quest. When you're putting this many tickets together, you just sometimes forget, man. All right, let me see. Where was I? Yeah, dum 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 dum. Sixteen tickets. I can change that pretty easily here. And also, because it's 2024, this is when officially the pity should hit 
and that's when pity is now active into the game if it comes early i doubt it uh because pity is too big of a thing to give to na early because it would cause jp people to cry because why did we get it early and they didn't um and yeah the, for that very reason and that very headache i don't think it will ever come early but if it does come early that'll be pretty sweet for us next three tickets from a challenge quest three tickets from case files rerun five tickets from the valentine's day 2024 seven tickets from white day um did i put caldea boys here yes tickets yes yes i'm pretty sure yeah six tickets from caldea boys i put that in there um Three tickets from Lost Belt 1 Recollection Quest. Battle in New York 2024. Again, a grand total of 0 to 18 tickets, depending on how many of the challenge quests you can actually legitimately beat. Five tickets from the Spring Event. Three from a Lost Belt 2 Recollection Quest. But three from the Learning with Manga Crossover. Ten tickets from the 22 million downloads campaign. One ticket from Constantine. Seven Grail tickets from the Grail Front Mission from the Moon. Three tickets from the Lost Belt 3 Recollection, four tickets from Name, which is, I forget the name of the event. The event was a really long Japanese name, so I don't know what the actual name is. It's the dog one. One ticket from the Countdown Campaign, one ticket from the 7th Anniversary Limited Missions, and 21 tickets from the 7th Anniversary. And then at that point, summer hits and all shit hits the fan. So counting all that, we will have 295 tickets. Uh, with a difference of 34 tickets, depending on how good you are at beating the Challenge Fest and Nero and Gilfest reruns. Therefore, with this math right here, not the greatest math, but it is my math, it, it makes the most sense if you just don't use any tickets. In two years' time, I will be able to guarantee that I get one Ibuki. And I, at this point, I was like, alright, I guess that's what I'm doing. We don't get enough fragments for it to be actually worth saving fragments, so at this point I'm going to treat fragments as what they already were for me, which is whenever I get desperate and want to get a multi, I will use it for that reason alone. Um, I'll probably still use it the way I've been using it normally, um, where I'll save it for the big days, like during anniversary and stuff, certain servants that I've been saving them for and then use them there. Uh, I don't think it's probably just unless there's some changes to fragments that I completely missed out on. I think it's probably best to use them the way you always do and kind of summon like normal. And in general, in Fago, unless you're a crazy person like me that's willing to wait the two years, I think you should probably just summon normally. Because that's a lot of tickets to kind of save up for this one moment. But I really do want to get some Ibuki and I want to guarantee it. And I have uh, Castoria, so it kind of makes it a little bit easier for me. Um, so I can definitely do that. The one thing that is kind of a trouble, which is I'm going to have to do, which is an entire different video with a completely different headache that we'll do around the New Year's, is that I have to do the same for see how much sync quartz we're going to get for the year. And then kind of dole out how I want to spend that sync quartz and where I want to spend it and certain stuff like that. It's a little bit funky because I actually do think the reason that actually funny enough if there was ever a good reason as to why na should get the pity early is that we don't really have a reason to summon on morgan and vich on their release banner because they actually get a rerun when pity hits so <laughs> like this is when pity officially hits and then in that specific year we will get vinch we will get um, Erish and Ishtar, which is another different kind of thing. We will get Space Ishtar, which is the current thing that's currently going on here. Just in terms of what you could potentially use your pity on. There's Melt, and then there is King Protea. There is Bowsit. There is, actually, this entire like year has just been annoying to look at and think about in the future. There's Merlin, in case anyone still wants Merlin. There's Arjuna Altar. Did I forget that they actually include? Yeah, this had to be his, because there's no way they would give a spirit on dress to um, Arjuna Alter and then not make him available. <laughs> this is when he return returns, but I think on NA he might be returning for Christmas. We'll see. He did. He should have returned for that Christmas on JP, but for some stupid reason he didn't. Even though he's on the fucking event poster for it. Morgan gets rerun. Um, Super Bunyan, of course. There's Constantine. Castoria gets a rerun with Pity in, enacted during it. 
Uh, there's just so much. There's I I don't even remember. Char I, I keep wanting to call him Charlie Sunoku, but that is in fact the name of <laughs> the protagonist from Persona 4, Charlemagne. There we go. Um, comma gets a rerun. Seventh anniversary is obviously fucking insane. With with um, I keep. Uh, well, there's this banner, but this banner is actually not the insane part of Seventh Anniversary. Insane, the insane part of uh, Anniversary is them including, um, uh, where is she? Yeah, there she is, Arc. Arc type Earth. For some reason I wanted to call her Neko Arc because Neko Arc is all I can think about when I see her. Like, I remembered her face and then I was like, that's Neko Arc, but no, that's who Neko Arc is <laughs> based on. You can really tell I never read Tsukimi. <laughs> And then this summer is also fucking rough because it has <laughs> Lady Avalon. And then it has, in theory, if you love men, you have Domen. Uh, summer Buki, which is the one I want to save for, but then also Ruler Scotty and stuff like that. So it's rough summoning. <clears throat> so if I want to make any bit of it easy, if I'm looking at this specific calendar and saying, I want this person. And I'm going to save for this person. I'm going to point at Summer Ibuki and that is where I'm going to go. <clears throat> I'm still hoping to get her on NA this year when she shows up later in a month or two. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the plan everyone. I hope you end up liking this video. I always like to kind of lay out my specific plans for summoning in case anyone's, uh, I don't know, interested in hearing my crazy ramblings about what I plan to do for this game and stuff like that. Because I am, again, on a two-year delay, I figure why not take advantage of the specific this specific thing that I have going for me. Because um, it really is a long-ass time to wait two years. Like, who knows what else... I, who knows well, I'll, I'll, what situation I'll even be in in two years. And yet, I've already figured out, like, no matter what, I'm not going to use any of my tickets. Have at least 300 <laughs> in the back pile. Ready for it, so... That's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I wish you good luck if you end up summoning on anything along the way. Shoutouts to all the people who probably wasted some Synchors trying to get uh, Miyu. I hope you ended up getting her. Also, apparently, Mysterious uh, Heroine XX. Uh, not not XX. Mysterious Heroine X Alter. There you go. Uh, I forgot that even though I have her, I was like, ah, whatever, I'm not summoning, I have her, who's gonna be summoning her? I forgot that there's probably an entire group of people who really like her, who perhaps were not the most luckiest and now just have her return. So good luck if you end up summoning her, and same thing goes for Ilya. Till next time, everyone, see you later. Bye!